Welcome to Photoshop, and today we're going to take a look at a cool little trick on how to darken a highlight area. Now, you would think this would be really easy. You would just go into your curves and darken it, but there's a cool little trick. One of the problems that you run into is when you try to darken a highlight area, sometimes you darken it so much that you add too much contrast and it never really darkens. So there's a cool little shift in the curve that I do to kind of help solve that issue. And this is something that I use all the time. So in this image, this doesn't really need to be darkened, but this is kind of a good image to kind of show this little trick. So let's say in this image, we wanted to tone this area down a little bit. So if I just make a simple curves adjustment layer, you can see it's adding contrast. It's darkening, but it's also adding contrast to the whole image because the curve is changing. Let's delete that. So the little trick to solve this issue is you come up here to this top point. If you go this way, it increases your highlights. We don't want to do that. We want to tone them down. If you go this way, it adds gray or flattens your highlights. That you want to do. If you come down to this point, if you go this way, it increases your contrast. If you go this way, it flattens your image out. It adds less contrast. And then you pull down to darken. And what that does is it will increase and darken the values in the highlight, but not really increase the contrast in the image. So what I would do then is just, I'm gonna hit Command I, and then I want to specifically apply that to this area. Let's increase that brush feather. And then I could simply come in here with white, and you can see it's darkening this little area. Great little trick. It's something that I use all the time. If I didn't do that, we can see, I can come up here, see how it kind of popped up and brightened that image. I still darkened it, but it really didn't do anything because you have to flatten your image to darken it. Great, great trick when trying to tone down a highlight. There is one area where this won't work. I'm gonna bring my info palette over here so you can see. If you do not use the info palette, check out my video on the info palette. Info palette is key to toning well inside a Photoshop. So right here, we have this kind of horrible highlight on these geese. And if I scroll my thing, my mouse over, you can look over here, look at this K value. This is the black value. It's telling me it's at zero. That means there's no information in there. You cannot darken a specular highlight, a highlight with no information in it. All you'll do is turn it gray and it looks even weirder. The issue with this was the initial capture. Your photo was bad. You need to always expose and, and hold your highlights in the area of an image. So in this case, I could do that little trick, but it's just gonna make it gray and it looks bad. So if you have an area with no information in it, you can't actually darken it because there's nothing there to darken. So in this image, if I come over here, we can see we're at 1%, 2%, not a lot, but we do have a little bit of detail to kind of work with. So I'll move this back off. So once again, we're gonna darken this bird and I'll do it two different ways this time. We'll just come in here and we'll just darken this and you can see that contrast increasing. Then what we're gonna do is come up to layers. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna make a second one. I'm gonna do that funky little curve. So we're gonna flatten or add gray to the highlights. Then we're gonna flatten out the contrast and then we're gonna darken our image. You could even go like this and add a little subtle curve. So it's just affecting the highlight areas of this image. So what I wanna show you here is how the two different curves affect this image. So in this image, what you'll notice is it just, it just is affecting more of the highlight areas and it's not increasing the contrast. However, it's making it a little bit darker. We're at 7% where it was at 1% before. You can see we're just really nice. We're getting that subtlety in the highlights. So in this curves adjustment that I did right here, I darkened it, but it really didn't affect the highlights. It's just affecting the contrast and the shadows. Well, why? 
be just because the curve is wrong for that specific area. We're going to turn this off and then on. And then what you would do is obviously I don't want to apply this to the whole image. I would just come in here and apply it just to the bird. Wonderful, wonderful little trick. This is one of the things books don't show you. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.